Everybody, welcome back. Track Mania. There's been a lot of scuttlebutt in the Discord already about today's track. See the track that people are calling. Could have been cool if it was dirt instead of ice. Or, just give me a second, I'm scrolling. Today's track of the day is ice. Man, I almost launched the game. But that was close. How about, <laughs> just give it a moment. Um... This map has no redeeming qualities at all. All right, so I'm excited. We'll see about that. How'd we do yesterday? I thought, you know, we we top eight in the region with no names. Okay, sure. There we go. Names, they'll, they'll start loading eventually here. Top 85 in the egg carton. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, I believe uh, this track. I have heard that the laps are like 45 to 55 seconds, which is right in my... Q zone. It's not exactly in my Q zone, is it? Um, but yes, it is. That's that's about right. And then um, I've heard it's about 15 feet of tarmac, followed by ice. <laughs> you know what? Let's see how you do here. See, so oh, there you go. So you start on the ice, you counter steer. Yeah, heavy counter steer. Oh my god, you heavy counter steer. You heavy counter steer. Oh no, dude. Oh no. What are you doing? Well, that was not 44 seconds. That was like no time at all. Um, now I'm not saying we're going to do any better for that matter. So when it, the, the thing I had not learned about ice prior to this, prior, I should say prior to the track of the day, I don't know, like a week ago. Um, if you want to adjust on the ice, it's actually very possible. The only thing is, to adjust on the ice, you stop driving. So instead of using like traction to pull yourself by spinning your wheels, you um, you actually lay off the throttle, which allows you to adjust your trajectory. Just, just come on, just come on. <laughs> so ice is everybody's least favorite um, obstacle in track mania, and I will say, I do think that if you're like not mine, I get it. You're needlessly contrarian. Okay, you think that. Um, Radiohead's best album is Pablo Honey. You uh, think that Thor 2 is the best Marvel movie. Or at least that it's underrated. I understand. Everybody here knows knows who you are, okay? Nobody here is like, what's that guy's personality like? Everybody's like, that's the guy who's like, hamburgers? Overrated. I eat dirt for lunch. You should try it sometime. Then as soon as you start eating dirt for lunch and you're like, it's pretty good. He's like, I don't like it anymore. I'm a cheeseburger man. That being said, that doesn't mean there's no room for us to to pog off and maybe learn a little thing or two about how ice works in this game. Um, certainly, I don't anticipate um, necessarily doing super well today, but that's all right. We'll have an opportunity to talk to one another. And uh, I, I always do like to at least acknowledge that anytime there's a track that is not really well liked, uh, it actually probably raises my chances of doing relatively well. Oh, hello, Ruka. Actually gave me like a little heart attack there. Um, it probably raises our chances of doing pretty well because uh, people will be like, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> now yesterday, and, and I have a tolerance for the meme track right now. And I'll tell you why. It's because yesterday was pretty much pure racing. And I learned that pure racing or not, be careful what you wish for. I, it's tough. I'm not going to deny that. Um, I had a great time on yesterday's track and performed relatively well. Um, but, I, I, you know, if they were ever going to drop a meme track and this is the memeiest of all the memes it's so meme it sat next to drew carey at the drew carey show 
office. Um, you know, maybe this is my finest performance for all I know. Well, cool. Can I just... Just gotta sneak through. <laughs> the joke is that Drew Carey sat next to... Well, across the office from a lady by the name of Mimi. Craig Ferguson was the boss. You remember that. You, oh, you didn't watch the Drew Carey show? What, you don't like art? All the little chicks with their crimson lips say Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Living in sin. With the safety bin? I don't even know what that means, but as a kid I was like, hey, yeah, clear. you know what? Top American cities, New York City, Los Angeles, probably Cleveland number three. So, I, I feel like, I mean, in principle... <laughs> we know what we want to do on these tracks, right? Like, you counter-steer... Oh my god, dude. You counter-steer, like... 90 degrees or more past where you actually want to go and then the slide allows you to actually keep your speed relatively high while traveling uh, the direction you want to travel so that that part is not lost on me that doesn't mean though that we have any idea what we're doing. Like, this is the one that gets me because it just, yeah, 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 just slipped through the cracks. No, dude, it's like the first time we actually did okay there. Um, look, it is what it is. Could belly ache about the track. Or we could just pog up and stoically do the best we can. It is frustrating. It kind of is a little frustrating, yeah. Um, I imagine after nine hours of grinding, you'd be pretty stoked. You'd be like, wow, check out this amazing run that I had. But uh, to begin with, yeah, I mean, a little frustrating and probably also fair to say, uh, you know, wasn't really what I had in mind when I started today's video, but it is what it is. <laughs> I recognize there's a contingent of viewers who are watching uh, for the salt, and it is the constant battle that I want them to be entertained, and they want me to be entertained, but I, for whatever reason, I can't give them what they want, or they win and I lose. It's the constant, the constant struggle. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I get it, I get it. I do get it. I'm sure... There's a certain joie de vivre. If you get around this track nicely, you probably feel pretty good about yourself, huh? Prior to that, um, there, what, what's the opposite of a joie de vivre? Is there like a no thank you de vivre? It's even, like, the other part of it is that it's ice, but it's also ice and, like, gravity. So, like, if you lose your momentum, it's very hard to keep moving straight because all the corners are A, ice, and B, you got a heavy, heavy counter steer there. Heavy counter steer there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have crossed the line <laughs> with the silver medal. I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you get the idea. It's ice. It's like trying to climb up a glacier, you know? If you got some momentum, maybe you keep it going. If you got to start from zero, I hope you're wearing non-slip shoes. Now, we're not going to stop at, at the silver. I don't know what the gold is. But it can't be too far away. I mean, that was not a perfect run. Let's not be stupid. Um, but it didn't seem too bad. No, dude. We were doing so... Dude, I mean, that's like a pretty good run. <laughs> I'm a little offended I didn't get the gold. 
quite frankly. I, I thought that was, What's gold on today's track? Like 29? Now, I guess it's a little entitled to ask for gold immediately, having completed the track one time. But at the same time, it was a really good one time. Cool, cool trees. Cool trees at the end. You know, wouldn't want someone to think that they can uh, create a shortcut or anything. So here's what I'm learning. We need to be less conservative and more um, aggressive on this track. It's not going to work every time, but if we get it right, in theory, I mean, this is a this is a high at bad situation. We want to hold the throttle down pretty much 100% of the way, I think. You can let off it a little bit for adjustments, but clearly at this point, you know, just making it to the end is not going to be worth that much. We need to make it to the end with a little bit of speed. The way that we're going to do that is by going fast. One of the best ways to, to maintain speed in this game is to just go fast forehead. That's a huge oversteer on my part, but a recovery that probably will slow us down in the future. And then like this one, I don't like I don't know when you counter steer that. I really feel like there's like a, an eighth of a second window where you can counter steer that. That's okay though. I'm not I'm not frustrated. It takes more than that to get me frustrated. I mean, we're only 11 minutes into the video on a 30-second track, and we've completed it one time. What is there to be salty about? I'm not... Look, there is a temptation. Anytime you get a track like this, I don't know who's doing track of the day at Ubisoft Nadio. Come on. More like Ubisoft No Dilo if you keep coming up with more of these cursed tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it, send it, send it. Send it. Send it. Where are they? Rachel! Rachel! <laughs> the Rachel tree. You heard of the Joshua tree, with or without you, where the streets have no name? That's the Rachel tree. And uh, it's not with or without you. It's uh, without you, please. Okay. Huge oversteer adjustment. This is your compensation. Nope. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like... Goob, all I gotta ask, right, is like, just why? Clearly a talented individual. Very ambitious level. Just gotta, add, like, ask yourself the question of, like, what possesses an individual to make a, a course like this? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that performance. <laughs> oh. I don't know what the author medal is today, but that's that's not so bad. Do I like the course? I don't know. You you could tell by now. I'm I'm ruled by my most base instincts. If a course if I do well on a course, then I'm like this is pog. If I do badly on a course, I'm like this is stinky. You know, I, I come by it honestly. That's a pretty good performance, though. Um, there we go. What I would say... That's fine. I'm hip. I'm with it. Not hip. Not with it. Um, it's not my favorite. I much prefer a, a purer racing experience, but... I mean, as a Canadian, this is really what it's like... Um, just going to the grocery store between the months of uh, November and March. So, like, this is uh, no, just another day at the office for me, really. Um, but then I do want to also say, many people will try to Canadian gatekeep me. You wouldn't know. You live in Vancouver. Yeah, we don't have, like, snow plows. So, like, when it rains here, it's like an ice rink. And everybody's like, you know, look at me. I'm Lewis Hamilton driving in the rain on three tires. I'm driving in the rain, driving in the rain. I don't know. I'm like, 15 minutes in, I'm like, I think we set a decent time on this track. 
This would be a sick one to get an author medal on, even though, you know, due to the sliding scale of author medals, it doesn't necessarily mean that we really did that well compared to anybody else. Just to put this in my cap, I mean, this would allow me to be needlessly contrarian, right? If, I, if people were like, I didn't like this track, and I'm like, well, I don't see the problem. I got the much vaunted author medal. How about that? How about that? Like, believe it or not, except for occasionally clipping the scaffolding, I feel like I understand the principle of this part. You use the boost to send you. You start your counter steer early. You don't over counter steer because it sends you too high up the wall. You counter steer early. Then this one is the tricky one because you got to be like pixel perfect. Then here is a heavy counter steer situation. I, the tree is frustrating for sure. I did slow down a lot on my PB just to make sure I drifted well into the uh, into the finish line. So I feel like if we could just hold the throttle down, we could maybe cut another half second off. I don't I don't think we're going to improve on our on our gold time by too much, if any. But I can't believe we didn't clip it there. I certainly do believe it's possible. That's not gonna do it, but... <laughs> and I don't know, man, like, do you want to turn some ghosts on for this one? Track's already a little complicated. See, this... It felt good until that moment. I kind of feel like, um... It's, it, this is not even Track Mania anymore, this is like Kerbal Space Program. You know, you get yourself on a good trajectory. And if you don't like it, you know, small adjustments make for huge differences. Like that right there, there was just a couple of different inputs and all of a sudden we found ourselves uh, eating a wall sandwich for lunch. Like missing the turbo there. I mean, anytime your wheels come off, you know you're hitting the wall on that, but um, missing the tarbo there, no good. But then, like, the earlier you start that, the better you come across this wall, I think. And then just make sure you're... Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then here... This is for all the Marbies. Heavier turn. I can already tell this is a heavier turn situation. And then just gun it, brother! Let's go! Took another .6 off the top. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We are like three hours into the daily today, too, so... I mean, I'm feeling somewhat somewhat good about my performance here. <laughs> I do think... Like, do I think you can improve on this course as a driver? Yes. However, I also think this is one of the courses... Oh. I think this is one of the courses where you're just going to really benefit from getting as many at-bats as possible. So, like, you know, if you... If, I mean, it, it's true for every course. If you got the time to dedicate, uh, you know, 200 attempts to this level, you're probably going to do a lot better than if you got, a th uh, if you got 100 attempts. Just because, like, I think you're kind of trying to shoot the moon, you know? There's a there's a little bit or even a lot of variance I think associated with the uh, with this one right here. But anytime we're in there, like this doesn't look good. But anytime we're in there, we're in there. Like even that, we were only half a second behind. That would have beaten our previous PB, our PPB, if you will. And I think the, the secret is going to be... F. <laughs> I think the secret is going to be pogging up a little bit earlier. Like, going high on the corners is... Sometimes it can be the right decision from a speed-based standpoint. Um, oh, that was so good, too. But I think that the tighter we can hit the corkscrews here... While maintaining full speed, the happier we're going to be overall. So I think you really almost, like, it's it's going to sound a little goofy. And in normal driving parlance, this would get you killed. I think you're aiming, essentially, to hit some of the infrastructure. And then if you narrowly miss it, you're in, like, Flint. 
See, this is not great. A little tighter turn radius to shoot you straight out. Uh, the snow s slows you down too much. Okay, so I, I don't know. I thought the cut would actually give you some time, but it's actually maybe reassuring the cut costs you some time. And I, I firmly believe that. Peak Salamanca hours, I'm sure. That one's just cursed, yeah. <laughs> but we're getting there. That, we were up by half a second, but that's not fair. You know, you'd go a lot faster than other drivers if you just ignore the turns and go straight into the wall. Unfortunately, you're going to slow way down when you hit the wall. And that's what was happening to us right there. But do I think that there's room for improvement? Yeah. I, I, I do still think there's room for improvement, for sure. Particularly like that corner, our old self seems to have taken it pretty pretty well. Like look at that, we had so much speed coming through there. But this part almost is starting to feel natural. How scary is that? That tree, honestly, I don't even mind hitting that tree. Because at this point, if you hit that tree, you've already done something wrong. If anything, that's just giving you the impetus to restart earlier. Something about this one feels darn good <laughs> all right channel did it's kingston ontario first snow of the year forgot to put mom's ford explorer into four-wheel drive and we're going skirt skirt <laughs> not not so much all right here you go you're turning on the bath road trying to get to the rio can center to go see x3 the last stand nl this is an anachronistic reference the, the Last Stand came out in May of 2006. It was not snowing then. That's the Canadian summer. You're absolutely right. I apologize. How could I have been so stupid? Just breathe. We did it! We did it! I don't believe it. I actually don't believe it. And I think there's still room for improvement. How about that? The author medal on, on Ice Nightmare. The frigid outskirts. I can't believe. Like, no one is more surprised than me that I'm having this much fun with this track. That's going nowhere. Um, this might also be one of the fastest author medals we've ever gotten in this series. If you are a, a track maniac, and you did this track and you hated it, I completely stand by you. You know, I think if someone described to me the process of creating a Chicken McNugget, I would be like, that's horrible. But when I put it in my mouth, I smile. And that's where we're at. The concept of this track is absolutely disgusting to me. Who would make this? The actual act of driving on it, I've, mostly because I'm doing pretty well, I uh, I think it, it owns. Okay, I've learned my problem. And th we've got the author medal without really diagnosing how to improve on this track. So I think we've still got a little room for improvement. Um, I think the number one thing, first two or three corners look okay. But on the corner before the final stretch, so not this one, but this one. I think we got to counter steer more than we're used to and then pull it back and accelerate hard through the apex of that one. I think that's going to possibly... You're going to think that I'm being facetious. I think if we string it together perfectly, we'll sack town like four tenths of a second. These are just guesses, in case you couldn't tell. Um, but I honestly think we could gain two to three seconds. That's that's my hunch based on, based on intuition. And if that ends up being overly uh, ambitious than so be it. So we hard counter steer here and then we pull it back and accelerate like heavily through the gut here. Heavily through the gut. We did hit the ice so we're going to slow down a little. Dude, we were in there. And that was when we went on the snow. So that's what I'm talking about. I, I think there's considerable room for improvement in there. So it's a hard counter steer, and then a hard pivot, and like, just gun it. 
Lost a little for sure. We're right in there, dude. We're right in there. Considering this, these are the first tests of our new hypothesis, I feel pretty good about this, quite frankly. Okay, there you go. This turn... Honestly, I, I thought about, like, maybe we want to oversteer on all these. Well, yes, to some extent, just to keep going, but... I think that this... Don't, don't mess with your muscle memory on this one. You got a good thing going there. Then here... Get stupid. And then accelerate out through the gut. This is a tough one. We're going to clip snow. Oh, that's just... Yeah, we our, our tangents were just all wrong there. But, dude, we're, we're going... And when I want to go home, I'm going mobile. I'll turn attention to the covenant of Hannah's and I'm going mobile. You know the who? Great band. What, maybe, maybe my second favorite English band. After the darkness. I believe in a thing called Pog. Just turn tangential to the curve. There's a chance we can make it now. Off the metal before sun goes down. I believe in a thing called Pug! I, I mean, I can't hit the notes. Let's not be ridiculous. Have you heard the man sing? Have you heard the man sing? I'm more of an Alice DJ stan. Good, good, good. Then, not good. Because our wheels are going to go up, and then we're going to clip, and then we're going to... Sorry, I lost myself for a minute there. Good work. Good work. Screw <laughs> Yeah, and so at the end of the day, I actually kind of hate to say it. This is not me being needlessly contrarian. This is rather me being selfish because of the fact that I did well. Um, I actually think I like this track more than... Not more than the average track, but I think I like this track more than the average person will like this track. So kudos to you, goob. I think that you're... Understated genius will not be appreciated in our time, but there are some scholars amongst us who uh, who respect what you're going for. Brap. Brap, 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 brap. Okay. Good. And then a fast pivot. Just excuse me while I kiss this pole. Okay, and then that's a pivot and you accelerate right through the gut. Right through the gut. Keep yourself turned. I'm gonna hit the tree or I'm gonna go through the snow. Yep. But even then, that wasn't bad. Like, that was, these are pretty... We're crashing a lot, but relative to the course, I think these are relatively consistent performances. Like, that's totally fine. I did freak out a little bit there. I was a little nervous about that one. And then just quick torque. Oh, this is not great. Or is it? Or is it? <laughs> okay, so can I tell you? I think that three seconds was a little ambitious. I, In hindsight, I do not think we're going to improve upon our previous time by three whole seconds. Did we clip? I think we clipped. Uh-oh. Um... um I'm good. I'm a god. So, in some situations, maybe the cut is faster. I don't know, man. Like, this is... I mean, don't take this the wrong way, chat. But I don't want to uh, create any ghosts here. Because I don't want you guys to bring me down. I honestly think I got a pretty pog situation here. I'm, I'm being facetious and rude, but I apologize. I don't really want to take the cut. <laughs> we were just kind of... We had already been sold the cut at that point, and I, it was a non-refundable deposit. Okay. You know where you're going here. Right there. And then you're taking the turn. And then you're... Weight transfer and accelerate through the gut. Through the gut. Keep turning. Keep turning. You're not turning fast enough, Mario Andretti. Turn on the power steering. You're not going in reverse in your dad's old Mustang. These are modern automobiles. Re 
reverse. Oh, that was so good, too. It was so good and tasty. I gotta tell you, ghosts or no ghosts, I gotta see how we're doing in the egg carton today. You say top 11 in Canada? <laughs> That's amazing, dude. That's amazing, dude. Squeeb, 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 squeeb. Dude, this is like the first time we've ever appeared on the map. <laughs> We're actually on the list of best drivers. What is this sound? Weight transfer? Just, just be calm. Comfortably numb. Were it not for that tree, we'd be in there. I, 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 I honestly, I don't know. Here's what I, oh my god. Here's what I'll say. I think that the cut is faster if you're already on the vector for the cut. If you're not, you can't really afford to adjust. Like, at the end of the day, the fastest thing in this kind of situation is always to... And it sounds backwards, but it's because it's ice and we have, like, rocket boosters. The fastest thing is always to keep yourself turning rather than straighten yourself out. Though it feels backwards, I believe that's the honest-to-goodness best practice. Um... So I think you just try to keep... Your turn going. This one's cursed, by the way. You just try to keep a <laughs> try to keep your turn going, and if your turn naturally is gonna take you through the cut, you take it. If it's not gonna take you through the cut, I really think we're talking about. Again, my my estimates of timing have been way off, but I think you might be looking at like less than a tenth difference. So I think you just let, like, the natural curvature of the Earth take you in here. I can't believe we were a half second behind. I thought that was clean. I thought that was clean. But if... That, to me, means I was either wrong about the cut or we were way worse through this section up at the top here. Both of which are completely appropriate. Can I say something as well? I believe I am the top uh, North American time in the egg carton. Again, that is basically my aspirational goal. I will never be able to compete with the denizens of planet Earth. Um, but I can at least compete with my own continental brethren. I saw it coming. That's, that's the part that bums me out the most. I was like... It was like slow motion. I'm so gone on Patron. I don't know how I'm getting home later on. Like, I ain't even know it. Then you go, even know it, even know it, till they call into the stage and then <laughs> And we'll stop right there. But suffice it to say, shorty going up, I ain't got no problem spending all of my money trying to see what's up. I can do this all day like it ain't nothing. And that's all that needs to be said. Did I see someone take off into outer space? This is not a great line. But maybe, maybe if you go straight through Santa Claus's workshop. Come on, how did you get a 22 second time? You hacker. I apologize for calling my subscribers hackers. You know what I really like about this course right now is the, the ASMR white noise generator when our daughter is born maybe i'll just play uh i'll just play this track over the dolby 5.1 surround sound speakers for her. it's like the waves on the ocean don't don't thread the needle don't, i well i don't i don't think the threading or lack of threading is what costs us there it is ricky what a name it's Ricky to rock a rhyme. To rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's Ricky. Genuinely, I still think 
a better time rests in the future. This one feels real good. <laughs> Why? Send it. That's a little spicy. <laughs> Dr. Z. You like Aqua? Dr. Z, Dr. Z. Call in Dr. Z, Dr. Z, Dr. Z. Stop hacking. You can put that one on your SoundCloud. Okay. Five degree adjustment. Hit the three wheel motion. Quick counter steer. Nobody counter steers like me on turn one, mostly because there's scaffolding there. Okay, quick 3.8 degree adjustment. Hit the turbo. Quick counter steer, but not to the same degree. Maintain speed. It's not just about angle, there's a speed component. This feels okay. Now remember, you're taking your adjustments. I know, by the way, you want to dodge the tree. Hey, have you considered dodging the tree? Hey, good one. Have you considered um, being nice? Hey, so here's what it comes down to. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so violent. Um, it's very hard... This one's screwed. It's very hard to predict whether or not you're going to hit the tree. Because you're traveling like... Your, your eigenvalue is moving to the left, but also a little bit straight and changing constantly. You know, dodging the tree in Mom's Subaru, not that hard. It has, like, uh, you know, lane keep assistance and stuff like that. If you were on ice like this, different story for sure. Heavy turns. We were close. We're in there. We won't go too much longer today just because we're clearly like at the close to the maximum of my ability. I'm actually going to try like a little under counter steer this time. Into this because I really feel like if we don't, I don't know if we can get through that without letting off the throttle. That's the thing. I think if we can do my plan without letting off the throttle. Inevitably, <laughs> no, 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 no. Inevitably, it'll save us, um, you know, a half second. Like, if we could just pivot off of that. You know what, dude? Do you think, do you really, do you think, be honest with me, do you think that's a shortcut? That's a spicy shortcut, if, if you're designed to go through this. <laughs> you can fit, I think, if you're, if you're pretty straight on. I don't think that's our play. That's a little advanced. Really? Uh, your ice isn't slippery enough for me. This is always what happens, too. I feel like we do well sometimes early in a video. And then as it goes on, the time between getting new PBs goes way up because that's just the way it goes. And um, people will be like, oh, you really kind of screwed the pooch on this one. Not really. We got that author medal in like record time. If only. What we're trying to do now is get the super author medal. Like, I don't want to be Stephanie Meyer anymore. Any Meyer? Can I get myself to J.R.R. Tolkien levels, please? Like, did you see how quickly that uh, slate black on black car made the turn there? I think they deserve my respect. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We have improved yet again. I mean, what do you want me to say? We, oh my god, we're like top 10 in the egg carton. Just wait till all the motorsports enthusiasts from Central Europe get home from work. But for now, this is this is uh, enough for me to be reasonably pogged. Now this is pog. That's not great. <laughs> I, this is pretty good. It's pretty good, dude. Skirt. And 
goob, I gotta tell you. Your track, originally... A lot of people are gonna say some things they regret about this track, not me. Not me. I think that, uh... You've crafted a work of beautiful art. I mean, it's... Perhaps the most robust ice sculpture I've ever seen in my entire life. Please, please, please. My muscle memory was so screwed. We're off by a second? I don't believe you. So before we finish this, like, I'm, and we're not going to play too many more laps, because again, I think we're, we're real tight here. Um, not on time, but like on our, on our PB. <laughs> no, my car's too big. Um, what I mean to say is my car, sorry, my tail actually ended up hitting the wall there, and I apologize. Northern Lion purveyor of stoic philosophy. There you go. Now keep that acceleration pogged. Pog. Poggy. 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 Heavy pogs. Do. <laughs> but I really want to see how we're doing in BC. I don't expect to be top three. But I mean, this is way better than the huge. So I wouldn't be surprised to see like top five. I mean, normally we finish the day top 10. So early on the day to have a better than usual performance. Okay, the, this is, we're, we're way behind. So I'm ready to make a deal. Skirt, skirt. Oh, belly. Okay, okay. Ruka, how can you sleep through this? This is Pog City, population two. You and me. We used to be together, pogging up forever. Don't speed, I know what you're speeding. And I don't need no cheesing. Don't pog me till we win. That felt very nice, but obviously we're well behind the pack. I'm telling you. If you got six hours to grind this track out, I think you could look like a wizard in your replay. Like, I'm already <laughs> getting a lot better. Oh, that's not... I'm getting a lot better at, like, realizing that I'm going to hit the wall, like, a second before I do, and then adjusting to narrowly miss it. Which is, a, a, honestly, I think a pretty big part of it. Okay, we got good acceleration here. Grip it. You know what you want to do. We know what we want to do. We're in there, boys. <laughs> I can take it. I'll take it. I'll take it, dude. Give me one more. Just give me one more. We still didn't quite move up enough to move up any, but... I mean, we, we brought our A game on today's track. I'm feeling... Feeling good. <laughs> this is a fun... I can't believe it. I would have thought that we would be, you know, sodium chloride today. Not the case. If anything, I'm a uh, serotonin? Yeah, sure. That's like the relaxing chemical, right? Or is that... I don't know, man. See all the Zoomers posting memes. Mm, when my neurons are fried from absolutely firing every single molecule of serotonin. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Shouldn't you be in, like, third grade right now? Well, no, because the schools are closed, but, you know. Like, in principle. I'm sorry to tell you, like, if you're watching this and you were born after the year 2000, you will always, in my head, be, like, maybe a maximum of 10 years old. Even though you were 20 this year, or you slightly younger, but still. And I understand it's not fair, right? But it's just conceptually the idea of someone born after the year 2000 speaking to me. And again, I want to be clear. It's not fair at all. But just in my head, I'm like, you're like an infant. You never saw Eric Lindros play hockey. Don't hit the tree, okay? 
We're a little slow on this one. I think that's where we're going to cut our losses, but... Okay, so we got top 14. Top 14 in the egg carton. Oh my god. Really? Really? I mean, we're not going to move uh, up to Dominati, who is like always up there. We're also not top two, by the way. We are in third, but still. Um, this was a great performance. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you next time. See ya!